In optics, Fermat's principle or the principle of least time, named after French mathematician Pierre de Fermat, is the principle that the path taken between two points by a ray of light is the path that can be traversed in the least time. This principle is sometimes taken as the definition of a ray of light. However, this version of the principle is not general. A more modern statement of the principle is that rays of light traverse the path of stationary optical length with respect to variations of the path. In other words, a ray of light prefers the path such that there are other paths, arbitrarily nearby on either side, along which the ray would take almost exactly the same time to traverse. Fermat's principle can be used to describe the properties of light rays reflected off mirrors, refracted through different media, or undergoing total internal reflection. It follows mathematically from Huygens' principle at the limit of small wavelength. Fermat's text Analyse des Refractions exploits the technique of adequality to derive Snell's law of refraction and the law of reflection. Fermat's principle has the same form as Hamilton's principle and it is the basis of Hamiltonian optics. <laughs> Modern version The time t a point of the electromagnetic wave needs to cover a path between the points a and b is given by t equals t 0 t 1 d t equals 1 c t 0 t 1 c v d s d t d t equals 1 c a b n d s Display style t equals int underscore math bf t underscore zero carrot math bf t underscore one d t equals frac one c int underscore math bf t underscore zero carrot math bf t underscore one frac c v frac d s d t d t equals frac one c int underscore math bf a carrot math bf b n d s C is the speed of light in vacuum, ds an infinitesimal displacement along the ray, v. <laughs> ds, dt the speed of light in a medium and n C, v the refractive index of that medium T 0 T underscore 0 is the starting time the wave front is in a t 1 display style t underscore 1 is the arrival time at b the optical path length of a ray from a point a to a point b is defined by s equals a b n d s Display style s equals int underscore math bf a carrot math bf b n d s, and it is related to the travel time by s equals court. The optical path length is a purely geometrical quantity since time is not considered in its calculation. An extremum in the light travel time between two points a and b is equivalent to an extremum of the optical path length between those two points. The historical form proposed by Fermat is incomplete. A complete modern statement of the variational Fermat principle is that the optical length of the path followed by light between two fixed points, A and B, is an extremum. The optical length is defined as the physical length multiplied by the refractive index of the material. Quote, In the context of calculus of variations this can be written as delta S equals delta A 
B N D S equals zero Display style delta S equals delta int underscore Math BF a carrot Math BF B N D S equals zero in general, the refractive index is a scalar field of position in space, that is n equals n x 1 x 2 x 3 Display style n equals n left x underscore 1 x underscore 2 x underscore 3 right in 3D Euclidean space. Assuming now that light has a component that travels along the x3 axis, the path of a light ray may be parametrized as S equals x1 x3 x2 x3 x3 Display style s equals left x underscore one left x underscore three right x underscore two left x underscore three right x underscore three right and n d s equals n d x one two plus d x 2 2 plus d x 3 2 d x 3 d x 3 equals n 1 plus x 1 2 plus x 2 2 d x 3 Display style N D S equals N frac S Q R T D X underscore one carrot two plus D X underscore two carrot two plus D X underscore three carrot two D X underscore three D X underscore three equals N S Q R T one plus dot X underscore one carrot two plus dot X underscore two carrot two D X underscore three where X K equals D X K D X three Display style dot x underscore K equals D X underscore K D X underscore three The principle of Fermat can now be written as Delta S equals Delta x three A x three B N x one x two x three one plus x one two plus x 2 2 d x 3 display style delta s equals delta int underscore x underscore 3a carrot x underscore 3b n left x underscore 1 x underscore 2 x underscore 3 right sqrt 1 plus dot x underscore one carrot two plus dot x underscore two carrot two dx underscore three equals delta x three a x three b l x one x three 
x 2 x 3 x 1 x 3 x 2 x 3 x 3 d x 3 equals 0 Display style equals delta int underscore x underscore three A carrot x underscore three B L left x underscore one left x underscore three right x underscore two left x underscore three right dot x underscore one left x underscore three right dot x underscore two left x underscore three right x underscore three right dx underscore three equals zero Zero, which has the same form as Hamilton's principle but in which x3 takes the role of time in classical mechanics. Function L x 1 x 2 x 1 x 2 x 3 Display style L left x underscore one x underscore two dot x underscore one dot x underscore two x underscore three right is the optical Lagrangian from which the Lagrangian and Hamiltonian as in Hamiltonian mechanics formulations of geometrical optics may be derived. Topic Derivation Classically, Fermat's principle can be considered as a mathematical consequence of Huygens' principle. Indeed, of all secondary waves along all possible paths, the waves with the extremal stationary paths contribute most due to constructive interference. Suppose that light waves propagate from A to B by all possible routes A B J, unrestricted initially by rules of geometrical or physical optics. The various optical paths ABJ will vary by amounts greatly in excess of one wavelength, and so the waves arriving at B will have a large range of phases and will tend to interfere destructively. But if there is a shortest route AB0, and the optical path varies smoothly through it, then a considerable number of neighboring routes close to AB0 will have optical paths differing from AB0 by second order amounts only and will therefore interfere constructively. Waves along and close to this shortest route will thus dominate, and AB0 will be the route along which the light is seen to travel. Fermat's principle is the main principle of quantum electrodynamics, which states that any particle, e.g., a photon or an electron, propagates over all available, unobstructed paths, and that the interference, or superposition, of its wavefunction over all those paths at the point of observation gives the probability of detecting the particle at this point. Thus, because the extremal paths shortest, longest, or stationary, cannot be completely cancelled out, they contribute most to this interference. In humans, for example, Fermat's principle can be demonstrated in a situation when a lifeguard has to find the fastest way to traverse both beach and water in order to reach a drowning swimmer. The principle has been tested in studies with ants, in which the ants' nest is on one end of a container and food is on the opposite end, but the ants choose to follow the path of least time, rather than the most direct path. In the classic mechanics of waves, Fermat's principle follows from the extremum principle of mechanics. See variational principle. History Euclid, c. 320 BCE in his Catoptrix on mirrors, including spherical mirrors and optics, laid the foundations for reflection, which was repeated by Ptolemy, and then in his more detailed books that have surfaced, Hero of Alexandria Heron c. 
60 described the principle of reflection, which stated that a ray of light that goes from point A to point B, suffering any number of reflections on flat mirrors in the same medium, has a smaller path length than any nearby path. Ibn al Haytham al in his Book of Optics, 1021, expanded the principle to both reflection and refraction, and expressed an early version of the principle of least time. His experiments were based on earlier works on refraction carried out by the Greek scientist Ptolemy. The generalized principle of least time in its modern form was stated by Fermat in a letter dated January 1, 1662, to Curo de la Chambre. It was met with objections by Claude Clerclier in May 1662, an expert in optics and leading spokesman for the Cartesians at the time. Amongst his objections, Clerclier states, The principle which you take as the basis for your proof, namely that nature always acts by using the simplest and shortest paths, is merely a moral, and not a physical one. It is not, and cannot be, the cause of any effect in nature. The original French, from Mahoney, is as follows Le principe que vous prenez pour fondament de votre démonstration, à savoir que la nature agit toujours par les voies les plus courtes et les plus simples, in est que un principe moral et non point physique, qui en est point et qui en y peft être la cause d'orcon effet de la nature. Although Fermat's principle does not hold standing alone, we now know it can be derived from earlier principles such as Huygens' principle. Historically, Fermat's principle has served as a guiding principle in the formulation of physical laws with the use of variational calculus see principle of least action. See also Adequality Aconal equation Fermat's and energy variation principles in field theory Geodesic Hamilton's principle Huygens' principle Path integral formulation Pierre de Fermat Principle of least action Snell's law Notes <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>